new trailer for Mandalorian Season 3 has dropped. Let's do this. Our people are scattered like stars in the galaxy. What are we? What do we stand for? Being a Mandalorian is not just learning about how to fight. You also have to know how to navigate the galaxy. That way, you'll never be lost. I'm going to Mandalore so that I may be forgiven for my transgressions. May the Force be with you! This is the way. There's something dangerous happening out there. And by the time it becomes big enough for you to act, it'll be too late. Hang on, kid. Real quick, before I start talking about it, be sure to join me down below in the comment section. Let me know what did you think about this new look at The Mandalorian Season 3. Also, I've done a ton of coverage on Star Wars and The Mandalorian and all the other Disney Plus Star Wars shows. You can check that out right up here in this playlist. I'm going to watch that one more time, and then I'm going to start talking. Alrighty, so as I've said many times, The Mandalorian is kind of a special show for me because it's the first TV show that both me and my son were excited about. So we've watched every episode of The Mandalorian the day that it debuted together as a family. And so we're all super excited for the brand new season. And this trailer, I think, teased all the plot points, growing, looming threats that I would hope from a new season of The Mandalorian. They teased at the end of the last season that we're going back to Mandalore for this big battle over the planet, and that's kind of here again. And they tie it back also into Mando's own journey as a character and trying to earn his place amongst the Mandalorians and, and all that kind of fun stuff. And so I think all of that fits right in, in my mind. They tease this big looming thread out there of something that's growing that he's not acting on soon enough. And then likewise, we're seeing like lightsabers and I don't even know the context of what that means. It's all the stuff that I, I would hope that it would do of just um, maybe having a, a tighter narrative than the previous season, which was a little bit. Uh, a lot of go to this place to find out the next place that you need to go so we can go to the next place that we need to go to find out the next place we need to go. This one seems to have maybe a stronger narrative um, that we're working to overcome throughout the season. All right, one thing that I'm has soured me a little bit on The Mandalorian, uh, well, it's kind of in mul for multiple reasons, multiple ways, but Book of Boba Fett, not great. So naturally, since it's from the same people, there's a little bit of, ooh, that was a big misstep. But in our two episodes of The Mandalorian that they squished into Book of Boba Fett, other thing in there is season two of The Mandalorian was all about getting Grogu to the Jedi that can properly train him. That's what the whole thing was about. We accomplished that goal. And before we even get to season three of The Mandalorian, before we even get to the next episode of this show, they undo it in a different show. It's the whole purpose of the last season. And it was this gigantic payoff and they undo it before we even get to the next episode of the same show. That's weird. And it makes it seem like the whole point of season two was just to have we, we, we did that whole season so that we could introduce Boba Fett and give him his show. And so we could get to the last episode and be like, look, it's Luke. But on a, the journey of where we're at, what we're actually trying to do with these characters, 
that whole let's track down the Jedi to watch Grogu, it feels pointless, meaningless, because we undid it just to put him back immediately, immediately with Mando. That, like, I t- on the one hand, I can understand that they realize the heart of their show is the- these two characters, and so you don't want to split them up. But if you do split them up, there there has to be at least some journey to get them back together. Something that it, it doesn't feel like you just totally waste, like that was just pointless. And it, that's what this feels like. Oh, all, all of that, the satisfaction of he Mando has to let go of Grogu and he's, he's like, take his helmet off because it's so important for him to see him with his own eyes. And then we just don't do it. That's so strange, so weird. And I'm I, that sours me a little bit on the whole thing when it, it doesn't feel like they're, I don't, I don't know what the phrasing of it, but like writing with integrity, that they're not actually playing out these plot lines and like earning these changes. It's just, well, we, we want to put Luke in this. We got to have a plot point that'll get Luke there. And then, but yeah, but we don't want to split these two up. So let's, on this other show, we'll bring them immediately back together so we don't have to waste episodes getting it back together. We'll just, I don't know. Does it feel right? Like maybe, well, the season will kick off and it'll feel like it makes a little bit more sense to me why immediately they did this and it won't feel like they cheated us, but it, it feels an awful lot like it's just going to feel like they, they that was wasted and they just cheated putting them back together. So I I love them together too. I, I get why you, you don't want to lose that. It is a key element of the show, but you wrote a plot line that split them up. You've got to do the hard work to get them back together. So anyway, that's that's a big thing that kind of just keeps sticking in my mind. And one of the many reasons why Book of Boba Fett's like, just feels like such a gigantic misstep to me of just bad decisions all around. But this trailer, which is what we're actually talking about at the moment, the trailer itself sold me on everything that I wanted to see. Uh, so the trailer itself did its job. So it was awesome. Love the trailer. I do have some concerns. Let me know what you thought below. Check out more stuff over there. Thank you so much for watching. Keep talking movies and TV too much. Bye-bye.